What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge called Top K Frequent Words. This is basically the same thing as doing uh, Top K Frequent Elements, except they want you to sort it the based on the word with the lower alphabet comes first. So given a list of words, return the Kth most frequent elements, but your answer has to be sorted from frequency from highest to lowest. And if two words have the same frequency, then the word with the lower alphabet order comes first. So in this case, I love lead code. I love lead. Co uh, I love coding. See, I occurs twice. Love occurs twice, right? And when they say k equal to two, they want the two most frequent elements because I and love have the same number of occurrences, uh, frequencies occurring inside the the array. I and love are the going to be put into the output, but because they have the same number, exactly the same frequency of their words, uh, we have to do the one with the lower alphabet comes first. So I will come first, then love will come first. Okay. And it's the same thing for this. So if you guys already watched my previous video of top K frequent elements, you can click that video down there. Uh, I don't, maybe I'll put a card up just in case if you guys haven't watched it before. But yeah, it's, this is exactly the same code as that. So first of all, we have to have a map to count the number of occurrences. So I'm going to do, uh, let's see, it's string, and then I'm going to do occurrences. Okay, and this we're going to call this occurrences. I'll do a curve for short. Short. Okay, I'm going to go through um, for every string. Okay, I'm going to do auto. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it for every string x inside words. So for every for every uh, for every uh, string inside words, we're going to do occurrence at x plus plus, and that's going to give us occurrences of every single word. Uh, okay, I'm instead of x, I will do like word because for every word inside words, okay, just to make it more readable. Okay, once I get the number of occurrences, I need to heap. I need a heap to keep track of the ones with the highest frequency and then to the lowest. So. They want us to basically uh, sort frequency by highest to lowest. So if I were to go through a high, high, okay. So if I were to go through the whole, the whole array, and generate a max heap, and add all the values there, and then take the first k elements, that could work. But I don't want to do that, right? If I were to go through the, all the whole, the whole uh, array, and create a max heap. And generate all the get all the occurrences it will sort the because it's a heap it will sort the highest first and then the lowest because it's a max heap but I don't want to do that I want to have the same space complexity I want to generate a size of K elements so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have for I'm gonna have a min heap and then I'll check if the value is greater than the top value of the min heap then I would pop the the top value of the min heap and add the value into the min heap, right? So that's basically the gist of this. So, okay, so once I add the occurrences of each, uh, get all the occurrences for each uh, each word, I'm gonna add it to my priority queue. So I'm gonna create a priority queue of a min heap. So, okay, so this is actually gonna be tougher, okay? Because, uh, okay, I'm gonna call this min heap. Because we have to add, we have to change our comparator. So I'll do that later. But for now, um, we have to pass in a comparator because the heap doesn't know the, uh, the the min heap because we're there's two values in it. It doesn't know which one, like which is prioritizing which, right? It doesn't have like a compare comparator. It doesn't know that. So I'm gonna have to. We have to pass in a comparator to do that. Okay. And also, they want us to do lower alphabet comes first, so that also changes things a lot because uh, the min heap originally, if you use a pair, use a pair, it would just compare the first value, the first pair, not actually the second. At, at least how how I think it does. I mean, it it might not do that way, but uh, that's how I think it does it. But you could try it out if if you you could try not passing a comparator, but it's actually a good idea to pass in a comparator anyway. So. Okay, so uh, before I pass in a comparator, I have to have uh, make it a pair because I'm gonna I pair up the the current word and then occurrences, and I'm gonna add each pair of my occurrences in my map into my priority queue. So I have to do that. So I'm gonna pass in 
pass in pair and then I have a vector and that vector is going to be the same of pair okay so now at this point we have to if I leave it like this um, it's going to be ambigu ambiguous it's going to be a it'll, it'll be a max heap right because the, the originally it would be a max heap so I have to actually pass on a comparator I'll, I'll write the comparator later but for now let's assume that uh, we, the comparator works okay so now I'm going to go through all my for every uh, value inside my map so let's say for every frequency we'll call it for every frequency inside occurrences inside my map I'll do it like that okay what am I going to do okay so hmm okay so what am I going to do I'm going to um do, 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 do. okay I'm going to get frequency dot first it should let me do that okay it should, yeah okay it does that um I'm going to do min heap uh let's see okay for okay first one more be okay if the min heap size is less than k cuz we're generating a min heap of size k if it's less than k uh, I'll just add the pair into the min heap right so I'm going to do min heap dot push and the pair is going to be frequency dot first and frequency dot second okay so I think in my previous videos I actually like swapped the pairs because the reason why I did that was to, to avoid writing a, a comparator but because now we actually have to write a comparator because they want the lower alphabet order to come first I'm not going to change the ordering of this okay of how I'm adding the frequencies to the the, the each pair into the priority queue so I'll just add it like that okay um, so I'm not changing the ordering of the frequency okay so uh, otherwise what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the first top element so the top element is gonna be the um, uh, let's see yeah okay if the frequency dot second frequency so frequency is each 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 pair inside the map of occurrences right so frequency dot second is the number of occurrences that we added for uh, for each uh, value for each uh, string for each word for each word has occurrences right so we, we kept track of that so frequency dot second is going to be the the actual number of occurrences for each uh, word right so if that number is greater than the top value of our min heap so the the top value of our min heap is a pair right and we paired it with the string and then the actual integer uh, and the uh, integer representing the number of occurrences so I have to do min heap dot top and that will give us a pair and then I have to do dot second and that would be the actual second number which is the number of occurrences right so if if the frequency dot second is greater than min heap dot top dot second that means that we have to remove the value of our the top of our min heap so I have to do min heap dot pop then I'm gonna push the actual value onto it so I'm gonna copy this and then do that okay so then at the end of this iteration assuming our comparator works assuming that uh, all this min heap is fine um, what am I gonna do uh, so after the end I need to get return the k most frequent elements so at the end the min heap is gonna be have all the k most frequent elements and I basically have to iterate through my min heap and then add it to my array so vector string is a vector that we they, they require us to return vector string so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a uh, vector string that has size of k uh, this is gonna be to return it's gonna have size of k uh, so this is like dynamically allocating that uh, so I don't have to call pushback right if I call pushback I'm resizing it well let me see technically I don't think it really matters that much but yeah that's what that's what it would be okay so now your answer should be sorted by frequency high levels if do, 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 do. okay um, okay then I'm gonna do while while my min heap is not empty So while my min heap is not empty, I'm going to remove the 
topmost value. So I'm gonna pop the topmost value, right? But I need to get the the top value and then push that onto my my to return, right? So to return, add that to my to return. So my to return is uh, because I I just allocated a size k. I'm gonna create a uh, okay. So I'm gonna create do, 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 do. so um. Let's see. Think I gotta think. I think uh, okay. So I'm gonna create a index for the starting, an index for the starting, and then I'm going to uh, do to return at index is gonna equal to the uh, the top of the heap. Okay. So the top of the heap is going to represent. Remember, is the top of the heap is the pair, and that that should be the kth uh, the kth frequent element. If I recall correctly, so that would be the kth most frequent element. But now, because uh, it's the kth most frequent element, uh, you want the. Uh, let me see. Three, two. Okay. I have to do it at a reverse direction, I think, um, because. Okay, so. In this case, the number of occurrences being four, three, two, one, respectively. If uh, wait, let's see. Okay, let's just see if this works. I think that I don't have to add it reversely, but I think I do. Okay, but I don't know. Okay, so uh, another rule, cool thing you could do is that you could do index plus plus here. So in that case, that it would add the index afterwards, so it would increase the, the index. Uh, of your value afterwards, so this would actually so I don't have to write in index plus plus at the end of this. So this would be to return. It's going to set the value of to return at zero. It's going to be the top value, and then it'll set to return at one is going to be the top value. To return two is equal top value. Yeah, and each time it does that, I'm going to pop the top value, so the heap changes. Um, this part I have to do top value dot first. I think yeah first because the first value is the the pair of the word. The first value is actually the word, and then I put the occurrences uh, occurrence as the second value. Okay, so after this, I'm gonna return to return. Okay, so now 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 the that now that this is over with, um, there's a there's an issue here. Uh, we have to make this into a min heap, and to do that, uh, we have to change a comparator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a struct. Called a compare comparator, uh, yeah, comparator, and then I'm gonna do this. So this is how you would create a your own uh, compare uh, comparator. Okay, so I I don't remember the syntax off of the top of my head, but uh, I think this is uh, let's think it's pass in comparator to priority. Uh, let's see, cat pass in, pass in comparator. Into priority queue C plus plus. Okay, so this is a good website that tells you how to do it. Um, oh, you could use you could use a lambda function. Okay, that, that's actually cool. I, okay, I'm gonna actually use a lambda function because I don't want to do. Um, maybe I shouldn't create a struct. So originally I was gonna do this where you pass in a struct and then it would do uh, where you tap the operator. But I might actually do the lambda function way because that's much more efficient and it's a new version that people do nowadays. So I'm gonna do auto compare is gonna be uh, uh, left right bracket uh, pair. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Is this an? Oh, okay, so it's not it's not a new function. It's just it's just inside here. Okay. So I'm over here. I'm gonna do auto compare. Uh, left bracket right bracket is uh, auto compare is equal to left bracket right bracket and then it's going to pass in uh, the two values that you're comparing so for in our case it will be pair string int uh, uh, let's no, let's not do first it's gonna let's do um, uh, I don't want to do first second because uh, that's already that's already confusing let's do uh, I'm trying to think. Um, X Y, yeah, okay. 
Let's do x, y. Okay. Pair string int y. Okay, so we're going to have a pair of, we're comparing pairs, right, of string and int here. And then uh, what do they want us to do? Okay, so once you have the brackets, uh, okay, we're going to do a ampersand here, an ampersand here, just to make sure it's passed by uh, reference. We're going to do a semicolon. And then what we're going to do is uh, we got to return which one is greater. Okay. So, um, so based on this, if the, if, uh, I and love have the two most frequent words. So if the frequency of both words, oh, okay. This should, this should be it. Wait, I should name this word one, word two. Yeah. Uh, instead of X, Y, I should do word one or one, two. Yeah. One, two. So I'm going to do one, two. Okay, that's just represent one and two. So if, so what I'm gonna do, I'm, I gotta return a Boolean that represents which goes first and which goes second based on the comparison of this. So if, uh, so, okay, so, okay. If one dot second is equal to two dot second, ah, uh, I don't, okay. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do one dot second. Uh, okay, I'll do x y again. I don't want to confuse you guys. That's what I don't want to do. Okay, so just know that these are the two values. Okay, so if each pair, each pair that we're comparing, if they have the same, if they have the same exact, uh, same number of occurrences, right? That's why I do dot second. That's the second part. If they have the same number of occurrences, then we have to check the one with the lower alphabet comes first. So to do that, we have to use a compare to based on the, uh, based on the first, uh, the string, right? So I have to do, so I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, how min heaps, if I want to create a min heap, how it does it. So I'm going to look at this again. So for their case, when they did, when they pushed three, five, one, eight, and they did their comparator, their priority queue, what, what does their priority queue look like? No. Uh, okay. What is their output? Oh, okay. So here, oh wait, this is greater. Uh, there has to be, they should have one of their priority queues. Um, if left, okay, if, uh, if first, less than second, is that the, let's see, push one, two, three, four, one, eight, five, seven. I want to see something real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Why don't they have, uh, they don't have the actual output. That's crazy. Uh, that's, that's annoying. Okay. Um, so for them, they did greater. I don't know what this means in C++, but if you use greater, you make it a min heap, right? But I don't know what, what greater does. Let's see. STD greater. Oh, okay. So greater returns X is greater than Y. Okay, as their comparator. Okay, so if I wanna create um, a min heap, I have to do X is greater than Y. Okay, so if X dot second is equal to Y dot second, uh, I have to, the one with the lower alphabet order comes first. So I have to do return um, so I want to create a min heap. So in order to do that, I have to do X dot compare to what, uh, I think that's how it works. X dot first dot compare Y dot first. And after if that's greater than zero. So that means that X is greater than Y. The, the first string, the, uh, let's see, they want lower alphabet comes first. I'm not sure what exactly is that. I think that's what this does. 
because this doesn't min heap, right? So, okay, so otherwise I have to return. Let's say they don't have it. I want to return a min heap, so I have to do return x dot second is greater than y dot second. X dot second is greater than y dot second. Yeah, x dot second is greater than y dot second. Okay. Okay. Um, and then what's cool about this is that you, I could actually use a one liner to f to make this uh, look cleaner, but I'll do that later when you guys understand it. Okay, so now after this, I have to pass my compare into this function, into my priority queue, and that's how do I do that here? Uh, dec decal type compare. Okay, uh, yeah. Wait, did I pass it into the priority queue also? Uh, yeah. Huh, that's weird. So they do th they do this also. Okay. So I'll do this. compare and then I have to pass it here as well compare okay so this should ideally work I'm not sure though I'm not like a hundred percent sure but I think it does so let's submit like this is different from the solution of answer okay uh, something wrong with a lambda function return first dot compared x dot first dot compare y dot first uh, what, I, what expected of it? Oh, I forgot a semicolon. My bad. Okay, wrong answer. The day, this is sunny day. Oh, okay. So in our to return, right, the top value is going to be the kth most value, right? the kth most frequent value. Um, we want the order to be the opposite way because they want the uh, the order to be based on the highest to lowest. And uh, so in this case, the, the is sunny day. The has a value of four, three, two, one. Um, so we actually have to start at the last part because we have to change the order it because our min heap is going to have the first value first, I think. Or the kth first, I think. Uh, I think that's what we do. But yeah, we're going to have to start at k minus 1. And then we're going to do index minus minus until we reach down to 0. So let's submit again. Okay, wrong answer. I love. Okay, so I love means that something's wrong with our comparison. Um, so they want, they want the, they want the small lower one to go first. Lower alphabetical goes first. So x dot compare y is greater than zero. That would be put the greater one first. So in this case, I should make it lower one. Yeah. Okay, and it got accepted. Yeah. So that's basically how you would uh, finish this, do this question using a min heap. Um, that, that, that is literally how you would do this question if you do it with a min heap. Um, what we could do is we could actually make this a one-liner using a ternary operator. So I'm going to do return, make this a one-liner just to make it more efficient. So if x dot second is equal to equal to y dot second, I'm going to use a ternary. Then I'm going to return x dot first dot compare y dot first is less than zero. Otherwise, I will return x dot uh, second is greater than y dot second. Yeah. And then now I have to, I'm going to take out this. So this is exactly the same thing, code, but I'm going to put it in one line. Cause like I don't think it, you have to put it all in like two lines or something. Let's submit it. Yeah, accepted. Let's look at other solutions. So okay, sorting you could do that, but I want to see the, how they do it with the actual 
heap. Okay, so they don't use, they actually themselves didn't use a heap. Okay, yeah, heap, heap accepted. Let's see. So they did the same thing, except, oh damn, they actually added all the values to their, so they created a max heap, and they actually added all the values, and they popped the, uh, the k values from the beginning. That's what they did. Greater than the k, they pop it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that's what they did here. And then, yeah, they actually had to call reverse. So we, we had to do something similar like that because we had to add the values for, to the end and then to the beginning because of the heap order. But yeah, they did the same thing. They had to push the values here. Did they use a max heap? I'm not sure actually. Uh, okay, so how do they compare? They compare word one, word two. Uh, if the occurrence is, is equal to the occurrences, yeah, they compare word two is greater than word one. Did we do that? Yes, we did. Word two is greater than word one. Yeah, we did that. Then otherwise we subtract x dot count dot get w one is greater than the current. So the first one is greater than the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they did. Okay. Well, so they did use a min heap. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's basically how you do the same question. Uh, we, yeah, we basically did the same thing with did. I want to see the fastest though. So before we, which one got the most speed? Um, oh, okay. Size less than K. Oh, okay. So they used, they use a max heap. And they popped. They removed k times from the beginning. Oh, okay, yeah. So th this guy used a max even removed k times from the beginning. Is this faster? I'm not sure. It might be faster, but it, it, it takes more space. That's a problem. Oh, and oh, you don't even have to add the values yourself. You could just pass this in. Pass your frequency list. I didn't know that. Let's change that. Okay, so instead of adding the values ourselves, we could actually just create the list like this. But I, I don't, wait, actually, we can't change that because then we have to, our size won't be K, it would be N, right? They, they created their size of N and then they popped K values from the top. So our space complexity is better than that, but it's, even though it's slower. I wanna see who actually got the best space complexity. Okay, so his space is O of N. Yeah, that's the same same thing as a thing. So our, our space is log of O of K, log, log of K, that's our space. But I don't know if you could get same time. Same thing. Okay. All right, whatever. Uh, that's basically how you do this question. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I hope I didn't spam you guys with the videos lately, but I want to finish all the the the. Uh, I want to finish all these K questions of heaps because they're really important. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.